What's up everybody, this is Browncoat67. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button real quick. Go ahead, I'll wait. You did it? Alright, because today we're taking a look at Tame My Dragon. Now this is by Giggle Black Studios. You can check them out on YouTube, see some more of their uh, awesome creations, or you can check out their uh, Twitter. So first things first, we're going to get you started here on the story plot. Uh, this comes with an awesome awesome builds uh it's pretty expansive covers a lot of area and it's very well detailed you got some urban areas you got a really big temple here um and then the biomes that they customized for the the, the local area it, it's awesome they did a really good job building this world uh you can role play here or you can take what they have available for you dragon wise and build your own off in the distance if you want to you know either way it works out i'll show you the eggs in the creative menu show you how to get that started there um, but again let's get this show started who disturbs my rest Shh. come closer let me get a better look at you closer Halt. My name is Nyeria, the Ancient. I am the last of my kind, the king of the dragons. I have grown weary over the years. It would bring me great joy and energy to see my children again. Seek out into the world and bring me my children. I will then pronounce you Dragon Friend and fly the great blue sky again with you upon my back. All right, so you heard him. The point here is to go out and tame the different types of dragons throughout the world and bring them back here. Now, with this content, you get four additional dragons. Four dragons that I will show you right now. All right, so first off, I'm going to show you the actual dragons. Uh, now, there are eggs available for the dragons that are already pre-tamed, as well as the original dragon mobs that you will have to catch uh, by taming yourself. First off, we're going to start off with the forest dragon. Now the forest dragon is one of my favorites. I do enjoy four winged dragons, but it also sticks kind of closely to the European dragon build, especially when you see the uh, like spikes around the head. Let's take it out. Now these dragons are enjoyable to fly both in the first person mode that you see here and the third person mode as well. And then much like your pets that are tamed, um, you can basically park them and, and know that they're going to kind of hang out with you. Alright, next one up is the fire dragon. Now, oddly enough, the fire dragon does not come with a built-in breath weapon. Uh, some of the dragons do. The fire dragon is not one of them. But it is a really cool dragon to fly. Check this out. Next up we have the Water Dragon, which is another four-winged dragon, but it's also three-headed. So one of the other really cool things about the Water Dragon is it comes with a built-in breath weapon. See that? Oh yeah, I caught that tree on fire. Oh yeah. All right, and the last one here of the four dragons that you would find throughout the world to tame is the Dirt Dragon. Now, the Dirt Dragon is actually one of my favorite ones. It's uh, kind of like your Chinese mythological dragons, more the certain serpent style. But it also comes with one of those built-in breath weapons again. See? 
And that is going to be just by pushing the left trigger when you're flying it around, which actually, it makes it really fun to be able to fly dragons around with breath weapons. All right. So that is all four of those that are pre-tamed. And again, it comes available with the dragons still wild with their mob uh, tendencies. Start off here with the fighter dragon, the red wyvern. The amphithere, which is your water dragon. The green wyvern. And the knucker. You can also get the king dragon tamed. If you want to fly that one around without having to jump through all the hoops of the story. Here is the king dragon. Now the king dragon is quite a bit bigger than all the others. And it does also come with a breath weapon because you wouldn't be king without a breath weapon, right? Yeah, light that tree up. All right, now again, this is all found with the spawn eggs in your creative menu. Uh, if you open up your menu, head down to the eggs. All right, this right here, this is your king, uh, tamed king egg. This is your tamed water dragon egg. Uh, forest dragon, fire dragon. Um, then you're getting down here and you can find some statues as well, some decorative statues, water dragon. This right here, uh, be careful with this one. This one is actually what happens when a fireball hits. Um, I'll show you that one. Got some different decorative statues if you want to include them in your builds. So this is what happens when the fireball hits. Be careful with it, but it has a lot of potential. There you go. And these are the statues. You got the water dragon statue. You got the uh, forest dragon statue, fire dragon statue, and the dirt dragon statue. You can include these in your builds. Uh, like if you were going to build a temple for one of the dragons or something like that, you would have these and it would work perfectly. But again, I really just want to take a moment to really emphasize how awesome the world is that they also gave us. You know, look at these builds. Look how aesthetically pleasing these are. How detailed they are. These must have taken a long time to build. You know, these landscapes are all custom made and looked great. And check out the architecture involved with this. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you support this channel. This is Browncoat67. Take it a look at Tame My Dragon. Now, if you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite dragon. I personally like the blue one and the dirt one, I think, more than the others. All right, I'll catch you next time.